In this video, we're going to go over some of the nuanced controls in symmetry and dive a little bit deeper into some of the controls that we have. Let's click on pod 2 again and look back at our symmetry box. And for right now, we're attached about itself and its own attach point, which is right here on the nose of this pod 1 component. If we change that to pod 1, we still told it to reflect about the attachment point. However, pod 1's attach point is here at the origin instead. So our model reflected pod 2 over here to the other side. Now, if we want it attached here, but we want it to be able to reflect about whatever this is doing, set it to object. Now you'll notice that there is a small little dashed coordinate system at the nose of this component. That's the object location, and this is reflecting to the other side of that point. And just like we discussed in some of the introductory material, you can set this to reflect about that object origin or the attachment origin. Notice that we jump all the way to the other side of the model in this case. Let's jump this up to four. Now we can see that it's at, in fact, all the way out here. If we set it back to object, now we're about this point. So what you're reflecting about has a strong impact on how the rest of the reflections are distributed within your model. So be very intentional with how you set these. For right now, let's leave that at object. As a quick demonstration, I'm also going to show what happens when you use different components in your model to base your symmetry and how wild this can get very quickly. So here we've got our primary pod turned upward a little bit or effectively rotated about its own Y about 20 degrees. We still have these two pods reflected as shown simply XZ about pod one, but I've added a wing that's reflected about its own XZ that's attached to pod two here. So this wing is reflecting about its own attachment point but if I change it from wing to pod two, now it's reflecting in XZ about this component. If I change that to attachment, then it's reflected about this point in XZ. So we've seen how some of the different ways that you can attach in a planar sense about objects can be very different. But if we throw axial into this as well, notice that we're attached about pod two's attachment point here. If I change this, to have it about pod one and then attach it to the object. Notice that now I have rotated the symmetry axially about the object's x-axis, which is now tilted 20 degrees up. And in fact, if I come here to pod one and start playing with this and set it to something like 15 or 20 in the other direction, I can start playing around with how these pieces are modified. And in fact, if I want to come in and do something a little bit weirder and give it maybe negative 10 degrees or 20 degrees, it starts to wrap itself around. So because I'm reflecting about this object, the object has its own coordinate system. And now I'm reflecting this wing about this blue pod. So you can see how weird all this reflection can get when you start attaching things in ways that don't really make a lot of sense. You can come up with something that looks really interesting, but from a design standpoint, it doesn't make any sense at all. So this is just a warning that yes, you can do things that are interesting with symmetry and reflection, but be very deliberate in how you attach the model.